Hello everyone, we are group S5. We will be explaining floating point representation. So let's get started. Here we will be covering the introduction to floating point representation in the IEEE standard 754 for, for floating point numbers which has single precision and double precision. So to convert the floating point into decimal, we have three elements in a 32-bit floating point representation. These are the sine, exponent and mantissa, sine bit. Sine bit is the first bit of the band representation, that is the leftmost bit. It is also known as MSB or the most significant bit. One implies negative number and zero implies positive number. Here in this example, the first bit of binary representation is one, so this is a negative number. The exponent bits. Exponent is decided by the next eight bits of binary representation. 127 is the unique number for 32 bit representation. It is known as bias. It is determined by two to the power k minus one minus one, where k is the number of bits in the exponent field. There are three exponent bits in eight bit re representation and eight exponent bits in 32 bit representation. Thus, bias is equal to 3 for 8-bit conversion and bias is equal to 127 for 32-bit conversion. Here in this example, this uh, the exponent bit for this binary number are these, which translates to 131 in decimal. 131 minus 127, that is the bias is 4. Hence, the exponent of 2 will be 4, that is 2 to the power 4, which gives us 16. So, talking about the Mantisa part, Mantisa is calculated from the remaining 23 bits of the binary representation. It consists of one and a fractional part, which is determined by the following example. In the following, in the given example, zero is the sine bit, and the next eight bits are the exponent bits. The fractional part of Mantisa is given by one, one into one by two plus zero into one by four plus one into one by eight plus zero into one by sixteen, and so on which is equal to 0.625 thus the mantissa will be 1 plus 0.625 which is equal to 1.625 hence the decimal number hence given as sine into exponent into mantissa will be 26 in the second point we will be covering how to convert the decimal into floating point uh, here we have three elements in a 32 bit floating point representation out of those first one is the sine second one exponent third one is the mantisa so coming to sine bit sine bit is the first bit of the binary representation here one implies negative number and zero implies positive number for example to convert minus 17 into 32 bit floating point representation sine bit equals to one now coming at the exponent exponent is decided by the nearest or smaller or equal to two raised power n number for 17, 16 is the nearest 2 raised to the power n number. Hence, the exponent of 2 will be 4. Since 2 raised to the power n equals to 16. Uh, here, 127 is the unique number for 32-bit floating point representation. It is known as bias. It is determined by 2 raised to the power k minus 1, where k is the number of bits in exponent field. Thus, bias equals to 127 for 32-bit. Now, 127 plus 4 equals to 131 that is it is represented as 1 into uh, sorry uh, 1 5 times 0 1 1 in binary representation now coming at mantisa 17 in binary is written as 1 triple 0 1 now move the binary point so that there is only one bit from the left adjust the exponent of 2 so that the value does not change this is normalizing the number that is a uh, 1.001 into 2 raised to the power 4. Now consider the fractional part and uh, represents and it's represented as 23 bits by adding 0. And uh, here we can see the representation. IEEE standard 754 floating no point numbers. The IEEE standard for floating point arithmetic is a technical standard for floating point computation which was established in 1985 by Institute of Electro Electrical and Electronic Engineers, that is IEEE. The standard addresses many problems found in diverse floating point implementation that made them difficult to use reliably and reduce their probability. IEEE standard 754 floating point is the most common representation today for real numbers on computers, including Intel-based PCs, Macs, and mostly unique platform. There are several ways to represent floating point number, but IEEE 754 is the most efficient in most of the cases. IEEE 754 has basic three components.
the base exponent the exponent field needs to represent both positive and negative exponent a base is added to the actual exponent in order to get stored exponents the normalized mantissa the mantissa is a part of number in a significant notation or a floating point number consisting of its significant digits here we have only two digits that is 0 and 1 so a normalized mantissa is one with only one to the left of the decimal i triple five seven five four number are divided into two based on the three above components that is single precision and double precision number now let's coming on the table there are two types of precision single precision and double precision the sign of single precision is 1 31st bit and double precision is 1 63 bits the best exponent of a single precision is 8 30 minus 23 and the double precision is 11 63 minus 52 the normalized mantissa of a single precision is 23 22 minus 0 and in the next slide let us see what is single and double precision with the help of an example let's convert 85.125 in single and double precision we know the binary conversion of 85 is 1010101 and that of 0.125 is 001 Therefore, the binary conversion of 85.125 is the sum of the binary conversions of 85 and 0.125. That is, its value is 1010101.001. Let's convert it to 1.01010101 into 2 raised to 6. Therefore, its sign value is 0. Now, let's see what is a single precision. Single precision floating point format is a computer number format usually occupying 32 bits in a computer memory. It represents a wide dynamic range of numeric values by using a floating radix point. Now, as we see in the previous example, 85.125. Let's find its single precision value. By using these values, we can see that its biased exponent, that is, the sum of the two constants, the here in this case, it is 127 plus 6, that is equals to 133. 133 in the binary format is 1000101. Therefore, its normalized mantissa is equals to 0101010101. we will add zeros to complete the 23 bits so the i triple e 754 single precision value is as shown on the screen this can be written in hexadecimal form also that is its value is 42aa4000 now let's see what is its double precision double precision floating point format is a floating point number format usually occupying 64 bits in a computer memory it represents a wide dynamic range of numeric values by using a floating radix point now its biased exponent is 1023 plus 6 that is equals to 1029 1029 in binary format is 1000000010 now its normalized mantissa is equals to 01010101001 we will add zeros to complete the 52 bit the i triple e 754 double precision value is as shown on the screen it can also be written in hexadecimal form as 4055480000000 with this i would like to end our presentation and would like to thank you all for being such a lovely audience